Hello, welcome to Shaman Sister Sessions, episode 70, our 2018 summer solstice ceremony. And I'm Catherine Bird. I'm here with my shaman sister, Michelle Hawk. And together we have been hosting this podcast for a year and a half, over maybe, and have been producing this content as a contribution to our communities in terms of the collective awakening, what is happening on the planet, uh, our processes of healing and growth and personal development, and then our work in the world and what it means to be a facilitator, a healer, a guide, a coach, all of these different hats that we're wearing and how do we assist in this evolution of consciousness and helping to change and shift the planet and creating these conversations has been so much fun. So I'm so happy to be here today with Michelle on the beautiful summer solstice. How are you, Michelle? I am pretty well, thanks. And uh, just to acknowledge that we're doing this episode, not on the actual solstice, but a couple of days before, and that's okay. Uh, this is partially um, preparation for if there's any ceremony that you would like to hold for yourself. It's also part just uh, due to our scheduling availability, but uh, the actual solstice for those of you, uh, this is Pacific time. It's on the morning at 3.07 in the morning on Thursday, the 21st. Mm -hmm. So that's our exact moment of solstice. We're just a little bit early. I'm doing very well. I am um, noticing there's a lot of amplification of energy going on right now. And before we jump into our actual ritual that we're going to be working with today, Kat and I are going to share a couple of pieces with you about what type of intentionality we're bringing to this container. Some of the themes that we've been noticing, also including a little bit of, uh, you know, what inviting you to share any intentions that you would like to put in the group container today. With that, um, is there anything in particular, Kat, that you would like to put in people's minds of like a, a really good way. Let's kind of give people a, a couple of suggestions of a good way to participate in the container that we have going on here. Okay, let's do that. I yeah. think that uh, first off, first of all, in this, this context of maybe you are familiar with ritual and ceremony experiences and maybe you are more brand new to them and that's okay. We actually just did an episode last week on ritual and sacred practice. So you can kind of dive in deeper into more conceptual aspects of what that means. And, you know, this, this idea of why it's okay that we're doing things early because it's better to do, to do things early or late than never at all. And that we are sitting within this summer solstice season and we've <laughs> we've also done episodes on cycles of power and that's another episode you could check out and we talk about the solstices and and what those mean but as far as today we are going to be holding a a summer solstice ceremony with the intentions that we're putting forth and we also welcome that if you have something to drop into the collective container that you can if you're live on the call you can chat that into the chat bar and also this container that we're bringing an opening is a portal and so even if you find this on YouTube and it's a few days later don't fret you can also plug in to the collective by placing your words into the comments, that's going to help to place those intentions into this container. Even if it's a few days later, it's not a big deal. And uh, we will be seeing those and, and presencing to those. So feel free to, uh, feel free to, to post. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even if it's like summer solstice next year and you find this episode, you can still, it's never too late. Uh, you know, because we, we exist in a, a very nebulous time bubble where everything's happening all the time, so no worries. Uh, for the purposes of our work today, before we started recording, Kat and I were sharing a little bit about um, this is a, a slightly modified form of ritual that makes it electronic friendly. We have in the past, when we've done some ceremony episodes, we were doing the singing and the drumming and it blew out the speakers and then no one could hear us. And it's, uh, it, we're also just very aware that this is a ceremony that is 
um, you know, taking place through, through the internet, through electronic means. And that does not make it any less powerful. I will say that that does not make it any less powerful or potent or the magic any less real. It just means that maybe we're not going to be moving some of the energy through our bodies in a way that we might otherwise, if we were, uh, you know, not sitting in front of a webcam. <laughs> right. <laughs> If you, came, um, if you came and worked with us, uh, traditional ceremonial works, uh, there would be a lot more movement and action and singing and drumming and, and uh, lots more, more sound and, and so on. So, uh, but right. you do not have these limitations. So feel free for us, please, if you want to play your drum or sing or use your tuning forks or whatever it is that you have there, your, your, uh, your singing bowls, uh, feel free to, to utilize them. So we would, we would appreciate you adding that to, to the container since we can't. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you want, you can let us know like, all right, I'm playing my Tingsha now. Awesome. Great. Thank you. So with that, um, Again, you are welcome to add your intentions in the form of putting them in the chat box or if it's just something you want to have for yourself personally, that is totally okay. We will, uh, we have a couple of sort of overall umbrella intentions that we're bringing to our ceremonial work today. And as we were tuning into these kind of leading up to, to our ceremony, really noticing a lot around remembering, I think is one of the main themes that is present for both of us right now, certainly Kat and myself, but then also the people that we're working with and then and looking societally at there, there has definitely been a lot of forgetting recently. We're all familiar with that in various forms, but it's like people are, are coming into that remembering of their innocence, the remembering of their innate magic, the remembering of their original medicine and who they truly are. That was one of the pieces that we're particularly calling into this summer solstice time, particularly as summer solstice in, in the Northern Hemisphere is the moment of greatest light. It is the moment of the longest day when we have the most amplification of illumination happening right now. So as we are all remembering, let us call in that light so that we can illuminate the parts of ourselves that we need to remember, illuminate these pieces of our, our compassion, our grace, our innocence, and our hearts that maybe we have stepped away from or that have been lost in the shadow. That's beautiful, Michelle. Well said. <laughs> Thank you. I channeled it all. No idea what I said. Great. <laughs> and then the the other piece, Kat, I think you spoke to very beautifully when we were uh, when we were discussing earlier. Would you like to? Well, yeah. it's it's of that same grain is to dedicate this ceremony for the children and the children of this entire planet who are in suffering and in confusion and in crisis because of the choices that we and other adults are making for them and uh, taking interests above them, above their health, above their safety, above their innocence being kept intact, um, of the children that are being ripped from their parents at the border of America at this moment, of the children who are having to learn how to protect themselves with textbooks from gunshots uh, in their classrooms instead of being able to simply enjoy being children and, um, and learn in a safe environment. And the, and the children all over the world who are being displaced from their homes and um, sold into slavery and abused and neglected and, and tormented on so many levels. And in our own remembrance of our hearts, of our compassion, of our grace, to extend this to this generation that is in so much crisis and turmoil um, at the hands of their parents and of their countries and of their communities. In mm -hmm. the hands of the people who have forgotten and so that they themselves are forgetting who they are because they're not it's not safe for them to be who they are so with those umbrella intentions in mind the the remembering the illuminating of the heart 
particularly in service and in honoring and in love to the children. These are our, uh, our couple of intentions that we're including today. If you have anything else you would like to share, please go ahead and chat it in. Uh, and otherwise we will go ahead and be launching in with some invocation work, a little bit of uh, prayer and, and we'll see where it goes. And we're in ritual, we're not necessarily planning how it's going to happen, but it is definitely a very aligned flow and we'll be listening in for guidance of the best way to honor and, and invoke these energies of illumination. And maybe let us just breathe together for a moment, arriving fully, presence thing in this moment, exhaling everything out. A deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale, arriving fully in the body with the breath. Pause at the top, resting in the space of fullness, and exhale. Again, a deep inhale, arriving more presently in your form in this present time, holding at the top of the breath just slightly to notice that feeling of expansion, and exhale. One more breath like this, deep inhale, calling your full power, your full presence into this moment that is now, holding at the top of the breath, slightly expanding, and exhaling out into that relaxation space of receptivity and allowing. Allowing yourself to flow gracefully with your breath, Noticing any shifts that took place, even as a result of that tiny practice. Noticing any space that was created in the body, any additional presence you feel. It is with so much gratitude that we call upon and invoke the presence of our own innocent hearts. Guides and teachers of myself, of Catherine, of all of those present, tuning into the ceremony today. Guides and teachers of earth and of the messengers of earth, of the children of earth. Spirit guides, animal guides, archangels and ascended masters, beings of the light and love, ancestors and all our relations. We ask you to please be present here with us in this moment that is now, to witness us in this sacred ritual, in this ceremonial practice for the highest and greatest good. Please support us in honoring and tuning in and receiving the energies of the summer solstice, the powers of illumination, the light of the sun, the amplification and seeing clearly so that we may all come into our own fullest remembering. Please help us to illuminate all those areas of our hearts and souls that we need to remember. Please help us remember who we truly are Remember our innocence. Remember our compassion, our grace, our connection. And empower us with this illumination to embody this fully. So that we are in powerful connection with our original medicine.
We ask also for support for the children. Those beings who are in suffering, those children who are abandoned, who are unsafe, who are separated from their families, who feel lost and confused and afraid. We ask for blessings and grace for these children. We ask that they receive the support that they need so that they may know that they are loved, that they are safe, that they are protected. We ask that they be held in light and grace and they come into their own illumination of a fully actualized empowered self in their original medicine. And we ask that those who are inflicting this suffering, those either through lack of knowledge, through neglect, or through willful intention to cause harm, may they also receive illumination and remembering of their hearts. May they receive the support that they need in order to come into that full lightness of being, that full illumination and remembrance of all parts of their innocence, their grace, their connection, their service, their love, We ask that this healing today take place with ease and grace for the highest and greatest good. We ask for this healing for ourselves, for all those around us, for all beings on earth and for the earth herself. May she receive the fullest light that she needs in order to come into full remembrance so that all her children may thrive in love and in innocence. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the blessings. We are so happy and grateful to do this work today. There is the opportunity for compassion to rest upon your heart, to seed within your soul and flower within your being. This compassion is the secret, the forgotten secret, as it has been spoken the one that holds the key to the collaboration and the community that assists in this mission of the light that you have undertaken. This compassion must start within your own being, within the depths of you, flowering outwardly in that you must allow yourself to receive the fullness of your own compassionate heart to forgive yourself for everything.
And in this pathway of forgiveness, you will find the understanding of forgiving all those who walk in the shadow, in the forgotten areas of which you speak. It is a core pathway of awakening humanity, compassion and forgiveness. So often in the desire to change, compassion is forgotten. because it is often seen compassion and forgiveness as being a weaker path, as one that is with less action. But the truth is that compassion and forgiveness is the most courageous path that can be undertaken. It is the secret to the ever unfolding heart which has strength enough to stand for those who are suffering, for those that are in need. Because there is an enormous amount of time of energy, of attention that is given to hatred and fear and doubt and shame. And amazingly, compassion and forgiveness are the answers to all of these diseases. So if you desire to remember, to remember fully, this is the pathway. For only through this path will you witness your divinity. And one in witness of their divinity allows so many others to find the same. This is the path of illumination. One light spreading to another, to another, to another, to fill the darkest places, to open the human heart. Thank you for the, your attention to these matters. They are most vital and important for presencing humanity into the next wave of illumination. All is being brought to the light to be seen, to be witnessed, and to be healed cannot simply go away as so many would wish. Something must actually be done. And it starts with that seed. It starts with that seed. It starts with that seed and grows to blossom outward.
Thank you. Is it important that we know the source of this message? The mother, many names. Thank you. You're grateful to receive this transition. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us at this time? Keep asking for the presence. Keep calling upon Mary. Keep praising into your heart. Praising into your heart. Is it appropriate to make a request of the mother at this time? Oh. 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 We're not. <laughs> <laughs> not that's okay. There's a lot of energy moving through, but um, I, I will share what I am hearing, which is not coming directly verbatim in the form of words, but offering that if you feel called meaning people who are tuning in if you feel called it would be appropriate and actually we may make this request now they're saying yes just go ahead and make this request now to receive a healing at this time and we receive this beautiful message from from the mother to uh to remind us and to bring us back into that compassion and that forgiveness space so it is appropriate if you wish Please join me and we will request this healing together. It is with so much gratitude that we honor and praise the Great Mother, Mother of many names, Mary, Gemanja, Gaia, the Mother in all her faces. We honor you. We praise you and we are so happy and grateful to know you. We who are your humble children here are in so much gratitude for this amazing message, this beautiful transmission and the love in which you hold us all. We humbly request at this time to receive a healing from you 
to align us more fully with our compassion and our forgiveness according to this teaching that you just offered. Please allow the hearts of all who are present and all who are asking to receive the healing that they need in this moment that is now. Please allow us to release all that which is not serving, all that which is ready to go, and allow us to receive exactly that which we need so that we may be completely whole and healed in our own compassion and forgiveness. May this take place with ease and grace in the most appropriate space and time for the highest and greatest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the blessings. Oh. <sighs> Allowing yourself to move with your breath. Being in receiving in whatever way you need to fully allow this healing to take place. Noticing any sensations, images, words, emotions that are arising. And breathing into them, space and illumination. Allowing yourself to receive, receive an opening to your own personal remembrance. To the further illumination of your innate gifts, of your truth. of your purpose and of your own innocent heart being fully expressed in the world, allowing the light, the beautiful rosy pink glow of this healing works to allow a further unfolding and at this time either through voice 
through quiet intention, through writing, to place within the container your own personal intention and focus for this solstice time? What do you most want to bear witness to the illumination of in your life or in the world? What prayer do you have to give? What honor is yours to speak? I'm just asking Kat to smudge the back of my head because I'm feeling a big, big thing moving. Thank you. Everyone is receiving the sacred smudge, and the smoke, clearing out the old, mm -hmm. clearing out the old beliefs that are no longer serving us, welcoming in a new illumination. And letting yourself at this time just receive one word. One word that is your blessing, your focus, your mantra for the coming days and weeks. And when you receive a word or affirmation or mantra, notice what you feel as it lands in your body, in your consciousness. Breathing in this word or mantra and perhaps speaking it out loud to yourself. Noticing how the resonance moves through you. If you would like to share anything about your experience any word or mantra or affirmation or your intention, you can go ahead and put it in the chat box 
he would be curious to hear. I will go ahead and share mine that I received because I think it's kind of funny. And the, everything okay over there? I have, I have wild, wily squirrels that are trying to get into the buckets of bird seed and, and like, they're, they're creating quite a, a like, catastrophe in the, the outer hallway. <laughs> Knock, knocking things over and off of shelves and things okay <laughs> thank you squirrels for the the injection of comedy into our ceremony that's another thing is with all of this light we get to take ourselves lightly especially when we do ceremonial work and ritual practice it is often with an air of gravity and seriousness and oh i have to do it right and i have to say the right words and like sometimes yeah but also there we get to have fun with it we get to have lightness and it's just sort of funny to see you like run out and then hear you like yelling at the squirrels. <laughs> so thank you yeah, thank the squirrels um i was just about to share the word that came to me because i thought it was sort of funny the response that i had to it um the it's like almost embarrassing to share but that's fine uh my word was trust and my immediate response to that was like okay well i practice trusting and like but is that the right word <laughs> and then they said well we just said trust like come on and then i was like okay well trust you know and then i started thinking and all of course this of course is like practice happening in a split second i started thinking okay well about the con you know conditional nature of trust. Well, it's easy for me to trust when things are going well, a little more challenging to trust when things aren't going well. Like, should I just trust and like, no matter what? And like, you know, am I going to enjoy my life? Like, honestly, this is where I was going. Or is it like, <laughs> do I get to trust that I'm going to have joy and love and, and all those things that are like, oh my gosh, I just trust. It doesn't fucking matter about all the rest of the things. Just like sit there and trust and, and tr that. Like you're putting all these other things on it that have no place there. And I was like, okay. So definitely uh, we can maybe, maybe I'm not the only one who goes into like, you know, mental spin out mode. I think we absolutely do, but it's just sort of funny that that is my, that was my reaction to receive mm -hmm. trust was immediately to not trust. <laughs> right. So um, you know, and I think that's a beautiful reflection, Michelle, because so often I, I know in my experience, when you go to a ceremonial experience or something, uh, and especially the facilitators always seem to kind of have their shit together so much that, um, everything seems like it should, you know, you're going to get this affirmation and it's going to feel good and, or this word that comes to you is going to feel good. And, um, or this, you know, it's this, this thing that you're bringing in and calling into your life. And a lot of times it's the, the very thing that we're going to have resistance over or trouble with and questions about. And so I don't think that that's spoken of enough and it creates this false impression for people that we're doing it wrong because we're having this internal reaction that isn't in alignment with you know, this thing that, that's coming up for us to be, to be welcoming into our life. Um, and, mm -hmm. and, and so we usually don't say anything about that because we've already determined that we're the one who's wrong and we're doing it wrong and everybody else is probably doing it right. So I'll just keep quiet over here by myself and not, uh, and not talk about how my word is, is spinning me out or uh, I don't like it or it's not the one I wanted or one of those things. Or it seems too simple. And we actually <laughs> right. had somebody tune in saying, I also questioned my word. I got love. I had to check to make sure it can't be that simple, right? Just love. That's it. So, yeah. I'm in the same boat. It's love, trust, like these very, very simple 
just that's it it can be that simple it can be that easy yeah it yeah. can be it can be and and mine uh was joy joyful <laughs> joyful and then the squirrel was like <laughs> <laughs> that's when the squirrel came in of like joy all right we're gonna inject some like fun and joy into this ceremonial experience here oh my gosh yeah. um and 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 it's perfect it's a it's a it's a perfect word it's a perfect word for i think for where i'm at um and even my my whole morning in consideration i I've actually was like i think i, I want to you know, sort of this consideration of, of even making a video about these, like sh these spiritual secrets. Don't tell anyone that, you know, that I'm eating toast or that I'm, you know, doing some, this, the very regular basic human enjoyments of life that mm -hmm. oftentimes when we're trying to be spiritual and are on the path and are surrounded by people who are telling us the way that we should be doing things in order to be that, uh, that we, we end up beating ourselves up for doing things that we enjoy and somehow put this pressure on ourselves that perhaps we're not spiritual enough or there enough or I'm not eating clean enough or I'm not meditating enough or I'm not doing enough this kind of practice or enough of this kind of work in order. So I must not be ready to offer my gifts. I must not be ready to be of service. I must not be ready to, uh, to serve or to help others or whatever it is that I'm being called to do because I'm not there enough because mm -hmm. I enjoy being human too. Yeah. Um, and you and love toast. I love toast. <laughs> I'm, my, I'm outed over here on my toast. Yeah. And, uh, I love crackers, so I hear you. We yeah. get to have joy in the humanness as well as the spiritual. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is an important one to remember as we're sitting with the summer solstice and we're sitting with the, the summer, this, this time of the child, which I think is also important that we are recognizing the suffering of children is the time of the child and to allow ourselves this experience of what does it mean for me to allow my child to play in the summer, to play in the sun, to what does it look like? Oh, I, you know, I just, I took the whole weekend off and didn't do anything but like work on creative projects and garden and lay around. And that was amazing. It was so much joy in that, so much childlike expression, which is what the summer solstice is about. Mm, absolutely beautiful thank you and thank you to everybody who has been participating and everybody who will participate in this work uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and officially close now we're kind of wrapping up on our time here and i would like again invite for all of you to drop in just one more time into your breath taking a moment to notice what has shifted around as a result of our work today. Any space that was created, any new energy that you feel. Let us intend that these healing energies continue to flow as long as they are needed, pouring in from the divine to ground in the physical plane. With peace of heart and peace of mind, we seal in this healing work today, intending for it to integrate gently as we come into perfect union of self and spirit on this path. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the blessings. We are so happy and grateful to do this work today. And to all the guides and teachers who have been present here for this work, we see you, we love you, we honor you, and we are so happy and grateful for your presence. The channel is now closed. Go if you must, say if you will. Thank you and many blessings. With that, uh, happy integration, happy summer solstice. 
you are totally welcome to go ahead and shoot us an email if you like. Let us know how that went for you. Anything that's coming up as a continued continuation, continued integration of your solstice practice. And speaking of the child, and I know that we've included children as part of our intention for this work today, please join us next week. We're back on Tuesday next week, which is the 26th, I believe, Tuesday the 26th, for our episode 71, which is healing your inner child or healing the inner child. And so we're getting to continue with the theme of children and child medicine. So we're back on Tuesday, normal time next week. In the meantime, please have a beautiful solstice. If you would like to tune into any episodes that you may have missed, you can find them on YouTube, iTunes, and Stitcher. There were a couple that we referenced at the very beginning of this episode that would probably be helpful for further context in case you missed them. Anything, uh, any projects you have going on? Uh, well, just to say that you can uh, sign up for our newsletter at shamansistersessions.com. And you can contribute to our back-end fees and so on and so forth uh, at patreon.com slash shaman sister sessions. And I am, I, I don't have a lot coming. I think the next thing I have maybe is the healer's process retreat, which will happen in August. It's now the date has been changed to August 11th and 12th. So if you're interested in coming in uh, with a collective of other healers and light workers, then uh, reach out. And mm -hmm. I'll send you some more details. Beautiful. I would like to invite you to my next upcoming masterclass, which is totally free at uh, 10, 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July 17. And the subject of that class is uh, your original medicine and remembering your original medicine. So uh, go ahead and let me know if you'd like to attend. You can also search on Facebook for the event. It has an event page. A search for either something hosted by me or look for a masterclass, Your Original Medicine. Again, it's totally free and talking about how can we remember who we are, how can we reclaim our innate magic, our innate nature, and how can we move through and release the bonds of forgetting that we have from the birth of our amnesia. So but again, that's Tuesday, July 17 at 10 a.m. Pacific time totally free to you, but you do have to register in order to attend. So that's the next upcoming thing on my calendar. And other than that, I am doing a lot of work behind the scenes. I'm keeping quiet about it for now, but I've got some new projects in place that I'll be sharing about soon. Thank you so much for joining us today. Happy summer solstice. It is such a joy to celebrate with you. Thank you for all this amazing healing work. Kat, you're wonderful. Thank you for channeling such a beautiful message. And uh, I have coyotes right now. Okay. At two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> wow. So, well, coyote medicine before we drop off. Great. Thank you. We get coyote, we get squirrel. I had a flicker <laughs> earlier come and look in my window, and definitely a lot of bird or like animal activations going on. Yeah. The birds on my bird feeder are so numerous and they're jumping on and off so quickly. It's spinning really fast in one direction and then the other direction and they're all just jumping on and off and on and off. It's super funny. Oh my God. <laughs> Being of enjoyment. Okay. Well, have a beautiful rest of your day, everybody. Happy solstice and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.